holding this and balanced vibrations family i trust you're well vibing and resonance at top speeds all right so i've been away from crypto for a minute but i'm diving back in and with the help of supreme brother bk branded kelly the boss and his bk method um it makes it extremely easy to do well easier to do uh, especially for beginners to so just getting started like myself just getting started <laughs> and um it really just takes you to dial in and see what's going on. So this chart here right now, we're looking at BTC to USD. That's Bitcoin to US dollar and the comparison of the price breaks and everything. So I'm going to, this is where I ended up at and I'm going to go back and bring us forward to how I got to this particular point. And so we I have, again, I said new floor. We have um, where potentially maybe, maybe the next um, no peak a BTC may happen somewhere within this region and um, using certain tools like sine waves, um, horizontal lines and and cyclical lines. It allows us to capture this into different cycles. And so I'll start by taking these out. This is actually a little triangle here. Remove that there. Remove this uh, cyclic line here. And these are all two tools. Uh, right now, I'm using uh, Trading View. These are all tools that are given to you by default. Just, I know it's a button to to take out all um, all things, <laughs> all of the uh, the tools. So I just click it. I'll see that up there. All right, so I think that's all that I added. If you do it once, you should be able to do it again, right? <laughs> and this here. Bam. So we're going to make this a little bigger. And you do that by a quick stroll of the mouse. And right here, so with the BK, BK, BK method, all those who are new to it, I uh, would use... Um, four trend lines or three trend lines and I got four here where they notate denoted by color and each color makes a different moving average moving average is how um, is the average of the movement in the market within a specific um, rate let's say at an average of you know seven days this the white one it moves like this but at an average of 21 days the red one here it moves like this at an average of 20, 77 days, this is the average movement within the market. And for the average of 231 days, this is the average of that. And it is, it, it is um, scalable as well. So different variables do play, but the number is still the same. Keep it lying. Uh, so what I did already, I'm going to leave those there, <laughs> um, is highlight all. And I started from this particular point. And that's just where I seen it started to uh, spike from the laying flat within the market. And typical typical rule that um, brother highlights is um, the cycles of it, the cycles within the chart. You know, it's always a let's say um, uh, up. It's uh, let's go back some more, demonstrate it. Okay, example here. So it's always up, down, and then a flat line. It's a pattern, one of those things. So we got, let's say, down, flat line, and up. It's always going to be one of those three. So let's say right now we're in, uh, again, we're still up, still up, uh, we call it down right here, and then see the one with flat line, and it should flat line. Or and this may be where we are now. And this could be small, short, or long. And then back up. So it's typically one of those variables. It's typically not a down, 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 down. It's usually, you know, it's a lot. So it's like a post, like a heartbeat. So let me go ahead and delete some of those. And then this is not... Uh, legal advice, and I mean, not legal advice, not a 
uh, crypto advice is just what I'm doing. You know, choose to experiment at your own, your own level of um, of time you have to spare to dive into something that is uh, truly beneficial to you, and you all you determine that for yourself. So again, right now, I mean, this this is the date. I mean, this is trade view. Trading view is awesome. If you haven't, if you're looking to learn more about um, trading, you want to check out Brother BK. He has a, an awesome playlist already on YouTube. I'm just jumping back into this thing. And where I left off at is where they all meet. You know, when we all get together, you know, it's not always, it's never by happenstance. You know, everyone that you connect to, you see on a daily basis, the same thing. It's no mistake. You know, something there that can benefit you all. And it depends on if you take that opportunity to engage in that um, reflection of self to move forward in <laughs> little metaphysics. So right here, they connect it. It's not by chance. Let's put a circle around or ellipsis around it. Met again, not by chance. Boom. And it's the right beside of it with each other. I just, you know, just intuitively go to one that seems to be more beneficial. And boom, boom, boom. Another one here when they get together right around this area another one bam again and again so with these lines here i use that try to see if there is a cycle that can correlate those particular points within the timeline where they all met together and the timeline is you can see that at the bottom down here we have the months down here and the dates and over here you have the price breaks where where the price is currently and the price is there, so you can see where it's at and where it possibly may be going. You know, so you determine the future by what happened, was predicated in the past, and use those tools and variables to find a pattern to move forward. So I'm gonna use the cyclic lines, and it's right down here. I already have them listed as a favorite. And I'm gonna start right there where that first one is. I'm gonna go to the second one, and I'm gonna see how they line up. And you can see how already, and I'll make this a little, a little uh, darker. Dark, uh, boom. So the color in that this up is my prerogative of what color it is. You can change yours to be whatever floats your your fancy. <laughs> so right here we have alignment, alignment. So I'm seeing how many times, boom, boom, boom. All of it is aligned. So there is some correlation with this pattern. This pattern looking like it's about uh, from this day. I chose this is the 27th of of March and the 30th. Of May, so it's looking like it's a, a little bit more than a month, maybe 31 days or so, or something like that. And that is that cycle. So I'm gonna leave that there and see if there's any other correlation we can pull from. So, again, with that same correlation, this happened one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. It's probably gonna happen the eighth time, you know, and it's only eight because I stopped that right here. So this is this again. We all just hypothesizing what will be next. What's going to happen? And with these average of moving averages, what can we say? You no, know, is going to happen next. And um, you know, it's just like music. You know, and you got the rhythm. You got the beat. You can imagine. You know where the next, you know, small part in the music is going to come from because you heard it in the past. You know when the bass going to drop. You know, or whatever. <laughs> Bit your fancy. All right. So moving forward right here so with this let's say upward mobility here and let's say down or flat line you know or down or flat line and down so that may if you can see that there it's got up a uh, flat line it's kind of stationary and then down so we're going to be on to the next up one or we see this flat line keep let me continue all right what else i had on there mm -mm -mm. Mm -mm -mm. Don't like to connect the the um, the higher points and low points. Let's say we can get one from uh, this lowest place where I started from to the lowest point. Let's say right here. Let's you know, link up right around here. Uh, let's say here, and let's say this. Uh, we'll keep going. All right, it's point that I see to the lowest point. Let's see. Or where you can touch those 
if you can see the top of those peaks there where is it going down you can even because up here it's signified by the the lines or really just the flags highest flags uh, let's go down a bit and let's see if we can find an average medium maybe it's in between touching bam okay go with that and it touches right there so that's smooth um we continue let's say we get a triangle from so we got a complete cycle there we got a uh 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 and let's, let's throw uh let's throw the side lines there let's go a little farther back uh already got a point listed right here so let's say Probably I noted that last time. Uh, let's go ahead. Let's see if it gives us anything. If it doesn't, no toss it. Everything is every you no know, tool is not for every situation. So let's uh bring this back down so we can see a bit more. Try to line it with something that's already there, you know, built from the past. Okay, I see some correlations I have to go down and see what we can drag this down here. Yes, I can. It's kind of smooth, right? It captures that whole thing, captures that. Oh, okay, that's pretty good. Again, that's a little hump right there. Uh, you can't get them all. <laughs> okay, that could be signified a dip right there, inverted. Let's see if it correlates with this over here. Mm, not really. Not really. So I'm going to uh, see if. Move another one. Let's see. Somewhere else. Going up a bit. That looks a little more prevalent right there, All right? All right? All right? What'd you, what'd you think? So again, this is all you know, speculation here, and uh, let's go with that. Okay, we got a little hump here, low. Again, it slipped up again. Go low, up there, low dip, low up, low downs, low up, low down, low up, low downs. <laughs> um, come on, let's keep that correlation right there and see if that, you know, we can pull something from it. Yeah, I'm definitely not claiming to be an expert whatsoever. You know, just one step at a time, trying to light another candle, another match in the box, and get us all burning. All right, so grab another tool. Hey, hey, it's a party out here. I'm going to go ahead and make this a little lighter, come back to it a little lighter. Same with this one. We've got the lines here. And, uh, hey, play with a triangle, you know? Babies do it. Why can't we? <laughs> it's a peak right there. I say the lowest point is right here. Right here, let's say. It's the last time they connected right around there somewhere. You know, the thing is, something happened once, it's typically, know, it's typically known that it can happen again. It still has a place in the consciousness. So grab this clone that right there and just drop it right here with the last one. Kind of went off at. Or. Where that next uh, peak may be, you know? You know, you know, you know? I think I said there before. And 
and I think I'm gonna just follow this line right here. And that, that, that line of um, highs and lows be my guideline for my triangle for this particular point. So dragging that there. Let's see what it did. And that way it captures all of that. This is no experiment, so I'm, I gotta clone it again and see what happens. Oh, I do. Hit the right thing. Nope. Okay. I want to clone. Boom, boom. See what the homie looking like? Yeah. Okay. Might look like something. That could just be throwing stuff there and then, you know, makes no sense at all. But clearly it does. So uh, we continue. <laughs> all right. Um, and then I'll add uh, one of the favorite ones I like seeing the Fibonacci retracement tool. I got some of the gnosis of how it functions. Um, I'm going to store it on here from, again, the high from when it broke out to do it to a peak or when it broke down let's say here oh, let's see do it when it break down or when it peaked let's say do it when it's peaking do it when it's peaking so with this tool and if it if your eyes is uh <laughs> is working and not too distracted by all the colors um try to dial into these lines here we call it Fibonacci retracement tool it gives you um, kind of insight on different momentums and how the money or how the market is flowing. And Brad likes to say between the green lines here, because you know you, you gave the colors for their characteristic or the archetype for that particular space. And uh, when it's green, it's a good time to buy, you know, before it peaks. Uh, and it says green is like go time, you know, go ahead and get your itch together and uh, jump in the market. That's a good time. And then you enter the market at your own risk. And this is not financial advice that I must say that again. So between these two, and you kind of see like where this hit some characteristics of a leap there and it jumped up, bounced off it again, you know, bounced off it again before it went straight back down. Under, when they call it underwater, when you go under the, uh, the 231. And then so that it runs this area here. You can change it from a line to an area within the settings. But you go, let's make it a little bigger. So with this being said, you know, saying that this is seems to be a decent time to get into the market of bit BTC. You know, anytime is a good time to leave the USD to get into the B uh, the BTC. Um, And let's take this off here. Hmm. So let's take some here. The lows kind of continue until it hits somewhere around here and within some of the candle forms. But as you can see, the long game, let's say, uh, breaks to say the, the 231 day is like the granddaddy. Of uh, of these particular moving averages, and how it moves slow, very decisively. It doesn't just you know up and hit a 180, you know, and hit a spike, you know, because it you know it's very decisive. It makes it takes its time, like the tortoise, you know, the grandfather, Saturn, <laughs> its own slow orbit. And then you got uh, the 77, who's like the, the let's say the firstborn. You who's you know got he's the oldest got a lot of experience in the market and you know, outside you know living life and he knows where to go and you got the the next oldest you know or the youngest <laughs> with the red you know the fiery not kind of hot firecracker okay you got this I know exactly what I'm doing kind of like that that teenager think they know exactly you know what to do what to do so they move and the white is kind of like the baby baby brother baby sister the sibling who just kind of goes wherever the wind blows and it moves quickly so on a daily you know instead of you no know, taking this time anytime but it's made like that you know it's the, the moving averages um 
But when they all connect and come to a consistent point and and decide where to go within the marketplace, it's always something that happens. Either either it's going to be a breakout, boom, breakout, or a breakdown. Like breakdown here, you have a breakdown here, another breakdown here. Um, again, breakdown or yeah, they went down when they linked again. That's pretty close. This is the last one. They got closer together. You get more information there. Boom. As you can see that there. And again here. It's close. Not exactly like the other one. But um yeah. It's not by chance. So let's take that in consideration. Explore right now. Looking like um with this particular cycle or cyclic lines, it tells that tells us that let's say around here. If we if it repeats this particular movement here and actually I haven't done yet, I wanted to add the horizontal line, let's say. Let's see if we can find any other you know supporting line. Let's say this is the lowest point in this last circle cycle here. Um, supporting lines would be other things that bounce off that same space so let's say it's already found two right here and i'm using the extended a horizontal line to see if anything else within its past can support that too and as you can see boom right here and got some other stuff that's lying let's say if i let's 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 move it a bit let's see if uh because we got why did i pick that there i don't know but let's say we got uh Yeah, so we got a supporter right there. Let's move this over a bit. That's a good spot. Uh huh. She so came through here, and uh, look, it linked right there too. So let's move that. Bam. So again, and another one right here. Uh, gonna move this over. You see it? Supporting line. So that's a strong point in the chart. So. That um, I'll call that the new floor. You know, it's been bouncing off that for a minute. So it has a little resistance, a little resonance right there. So call it a bounce line, bounce back. Uh, so I'll put, uh, let's say, new floor. See what that do. You know. So it's a possibility that it won't go no lower than, uh, let's say, what is that, 7, 72, 72.86? Bam. And then I say with a new is there any resonance to this space right here? This peak right here? Is there any resonance that say that oh that's a possibility? Because again, if it happened before, it can happen again. Right, let's go and grab right there the tip. Curtis, Saru, what you talking about, dog? You got what you you just throwing lines up there. Let's see. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh, I'm just saying, it happened before, <laughs> so it can happen again. And uh, so last time this happened was in 2017, um, on the 18th. It's like I left some soup on the oven and it's smelling delicious. Yeah, so its peak is up here, so maybe I might be undershooting it a bit, you know. But hey, go with it. So I put the peak here around, uh, this is around February 19th, beginning of part of 2020. And uh, just add that up because I feel like doing some numerology. You got uh, 19 is 10, 10 is one, new trailblazer, new beginnings, the one in 2020, you know, the year for the growth. We're here, you know, we're in there. 2020, we can see clearly, that's the vision, that's the one. So let's go with it, you know, and uh, right here, Actually, what is this? Uh, what does that signify? That January, and that's about. So if this is January, and no February. Let me see. So thirty days after January twentieth is about February. Yeah, about February nineteenth. Let's go with that. So right around that time, somewhere. Not the date. Let's, let's say within two weeks of that date. Or a week in the day. Let's go with it. I forgot why I put the March 9th here. 
we just uh, I did it like two days ago. It's pretty late. I'm not about the urge to jump in. But again, yeah, this is the chart. And let's say, you know, between now and maybe uh only speculation here. Now and no December. It's a good time to get into the market. And um we really started to get a part, of, be a part of this, uh, the greatest trade distribution of wealth within our timeline, you know, ever, you know, since it's been um, manipulated and to use for, to, to, to be used as a tool for control. Now, we can use that with no middleman, peer-to-peer technology from me to you. We operate in trust, you know, equality, nobody saying, you know, you can't do this because of blah you know so just do your best to operate in the best way possible as in um one of the things i i particularly prefer is uh not we're using anonymous uh, sites not giving away your social or your you know your your personal information for something that was really been meant to be anonymous um, that's how Bitcoin was, was set up originally. And, you know, even the founder of it was, is anonymous, uh, Satoshi Nakamura. Um, so if if any way you can operate with your anonymity, anonymity is the word. Cool. If you can't help but can't find another way, you know, do what you have to do. And um, if there are any tips, I'll probably try to share some videos whenever I can. And now I'm getting back into it, taking my time, no rush, you know, check out Brother BK. He has some great videos, great insight, great personality, um, and phenomenal knowledge that has been, that has proven the test of time through the, the drought in crypto. So for those who are aware of that, check it out, you know, um, check out some of this past work, dive into it and, uh, subscribe to the brother, subscribe here. I'll be dropping charts as well as uh, as I digest them and experiment some more. I remember every cryptocurrency is backed by an asset or a product or a service, and one of the most one of the of my new ones that I just picked up, actually um, alerted by Brother BK, was um, a coin that has allows you to use your cryptocurrency as current so use it in your day-to-day and this is something that we've been waiting for for a while in the cryptoverse and that's called it's monaco it's mco so this card allows you to use your crypto balance uh, be it bitcoin or whatever you have and convert that into um well use that as your typical current either you are you're buying you're stopping by your favorite restaurant or you know taking care of some um you know, buying some flowers for for your family or your queen or, or whoever your loved one is. It, it doesn't matter. It's your choice of how you spend your currency. Peer to peer technology at its best. So, actually, we're gonna look at that chart real quickly. I haven't really you know dived into it all the way, and I did a full chart like I just did this one, but I will, and I'll, I'll probably put that up later. I think BK just did one on that one, so that's why I didn't. <laughs> he laid it out, but we can you know take a peek at it and see how it's moving right now, but. It has had some substantial growth in the last uh, couple weeks. It has been phenomenal. More than you get at a bank, 1%. <laughs> and if you receive abundance, you got to share the abundance. So this is proven to be one of those assets allowing us to diminish the control of our hard-earned you know, currency, be it our, our actual time, instead of USD, using something that we have more control over and have a more P2P or peer-to-peer uh, transaction. So go to, actually, the link will be down below, down below, and the referral code also, which will give you $50 toward your, your balance, allowing you to you know, get a head start in the game. So check it out, and we're going to check out this chart, because since, ah, man, this chart has been moving. Since, um, hmm, this is September 19th, so since September 19th, let's get this out of here. Since September 19th, boom, it has grown 45%. 
and that is damn good. That's 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 um, I say uh, under two months, it's grown forty five percent, and let's just letting it sit there. But you will operate the market by just letting stuff sit there. You know, uh, you want to be actively participating in it. You want to set alerts for yourself right here. I have an alert just set for. We we'll go down with more of this later. Uh, so if it goes under this, I get an alert. Let's me know. You know, I have to sit here and watch it every day, but you can you know, receive an email or a text message, I think, with the pro account or something like that. I send you a text message to let you know. You know check it out. You know, put your eye on it. And uh, you can set multiple alarms, alerts that can inform you about what's going on in the market. And you have alerts coming from the boss, BK. And uh, when he does, I think he does like every day now, at least every week, you know, insights on what's going on. So... All right, when you subscribe to the channel, uh, just know that all new videos that I post will first be posted on our Secret Energy page, the first conscious media, social media platform ever. So, of course, I'm going to post it on with the new hotness. So, you'll see all my new posts there first, and then on Facebook, YouTube, or Instagram. Check it out. Sign up link will be down below. Be a part of the tribe. It's amazing stuff going on. We don't give likes. We give honor. So uh, check out the video there. Request me as a friend. Definitely see you as tribe. So keep vibing and resonance at top speed. Subscribe and also create an account at secretenergy.com. The link will be down below. Until next time, I'm your brother Curtis Saru, the reflection of you holding this highest bliss. Like the feeling of the tourmaline when I'm around it, I ain't drowning. Myself no moating. Anything that doesn't want to help me grow, let my soul come help your soul. Namaste, nah, I'm a go with the flow. I got a river within me, I got the richest flow. But only giving a penny, you know it doesn't offend me. I'm used to this. People judging because they couldn't get the shoes to fit.